Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make crowds in UDK. To do that, just go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes. In here, go on the crowd and then add the game crowd destination. So add two, three or four of them, just as many you like. I will add two now. Okay, let's say behind this here. Then go to the first destination, so the start destination, double click onto it and lock it. Then go to the second one. And here, next destinations at the first game crowd destination, so our start destination, you have to click onto this little arrow. Now we've connected the two destinations. You can see it when you click onto this destination, you can see that line. You can do that with every destination you like. You can connect this here with the third one, just lock it and add the next destination here. Okay, now we're going to Kismet. Choose the event you like. I will choose the player, pawn, player spawn event. Then another right click, new action, crowd, and then add a UT crowd spawner. Connect the out with the start. And the spawn point is our first destination. So click onto our first destination, right click, and new object using game crowd destination zero. And connect it with spawn points. In here, a crowd agent list, we have to add a crowd agent list. To do that, go, and go to view, browser windows, actor classes. There it is. Then deselect the use actor as a parent and type in crowd. Now down here at uncategorized you find game crowd list of agents. Just do a right click on it, create archetype and then save it to package. So tutorial crowd and name let's say what. Then up here at the crowd you can find UT game crowd agent, click onto it, create archetype and save it to the package. So it was two tutorial where it is tutorial 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 Okay, we have to save it first. So save it Tutorial Crowd save. Yeah, save. And then right click create new arch type tutorial and here is tutorial crowd and name it let's say 2. Then go into the content browser and in here click onto the first arch type and add the second arch type with this plus. So click onto this plus, open this and add it under agent arch type. Click onto the second one and add it with the green arrow. Now in the second arch type you can choose some properties. So I don't tell you every property in here because they are very much like in the post process volume but you can play around with these I will just show you two or three very important. So under skeletal mesh component and under skeletal mesh you can add your own skeletal mesh with their own 3A template and of course own animations. Then under game crowd agent you can choose the health and the ambient sound cue and that's it. So let's say health 30. And with all the other properties you can play around and do stuff with it, but I won't do this now. So close this. Then in our Kismet, we have to add the first arch type, so the one, at the crowd agent list. Okay, down here we can choose the max agent, so the spawn count, the spawn rate, and you have to enable these two functions, enable crowd light environment and enable cast and cast shadows, because now they will cast shadows. Now have to do one last thing, just do a right click, add actor and then add a pylon. This pylon will calculate the path for our crowd. So it will calculate the objects that, that are on the way to the second path here. So click onto the second one and in here we can choose kill when reach, so they get killed. And that's it. Now rebuild the passes, go to build and rebuild the AI passes. Now choose your game type and try it out. Play from here. And as you can see, here is our crowd, but it's flying around in here. To solve that, go into the content browser to a second arch type and in here at rendering and under ground offset you see there is 68. There we have to type in another number. To find the number, go into the UT3, then go under characters. 
and go on the lion. Double click onto the skeletal mesh and here at the origin at C you can find minus 49. This value you have to type into your properties. So go back and here ground offset you have to type in 49. Not minus but 49. And try it out. Play from here. And now we see they're on the ground. And now we can kill them also. You see it's not perfect on the ground. So you have to play around with these settings. So let's say go back to where is it? Here. And let's say 40. Play from here. Okay, now it's better. And now you see, they walk from this destination to the second one. And we can shoot at them. And here, they will die. Yeah, that's it how to make a crowd. Thank you for watching and until next time.